Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper troubleshooting procedure for locating a faulty indoor fan relay on the residential split air conditioning simulator. Begin by proceeding to the thermostat. You can do this by clicking on this icon at the bottom right of the page. Once at the thermostat, set it to cool. Just click this blue area. That will turn the temperature setting down as well as turn it to the cool position. Now you can also use the procedure guide up here on the top left. And what this will do, this will walk you through each step of the troubleshooting process. So our next step, if we follow the procedure guideline, is, is the indoor fan running? Well, there's a couple ways to verify this. You can click on the indoor unit down here at the bottom and then rotate or pan around to look at the blower motor. Or what's a lot easier is to simply click on the magnifying glass and this takes you right to the indoor blower. It even removes the cover for you. Um, normally there would be a rotating blue arrow uh, around the circumference of this blower motor indicating that it's operating and we can see the blower motor is not operating. Our next step is to look at the outdoor unit and see if the outdoor fan or compress, uh, condenser fan as well as the compressor are running. So we're going to click the magnifying glass and we can see that the condenser fan is definitely running and it sounds like the compressor is running but if you don't have speakers there's another way to verify this. Simply open the control cover, remove the clamp on ammeter from the toolbox and just clip it around the glowing hot spot and this will kind of tell you if in fact the compressor is drawing amperage. Again, you may need to zoom in to do this. As you can see in the bottom left, the amp meter is reading 11 amps which verifies the compressor is running in addition to the outdoor fan. So I'm going to store the clamp on amp meter away now and I'm going to close the control cover and we're going to look at our next step and that is to go back to the source of the problem which is the indoor blower. Now you can remove the wiring diagram here from this tab and kind of take a look to narrow down the possibilities you have here. One would be the blower motor itself which is located right here. Another possibility would be the blower motor run capacitor. In addition it could be the indoor fan relay is faulty or possibly the fan switch within the thermostat between R and G. So we've got four possibilities here. We're going to use the procedure guideline to walk us through each one. So our first step is do we have 24 volts across the indoor fan relay coil? Well, we're going to take the multimeter out of the toolbox. Just going to move it over to the side here. I'm going to store the wiring diagram away. And I'm going to click on the magnifying glass, which takes me right to the control box on the indoor unit. Here we have a transformer over here on the left and this is our fan relay. The coil or the electromagnetic coil or solenoid is located between this green wire and this blue wire on the top. In addition we have two sets of normally open contacts. One set between the red wire on top and the red wire on the bottom and the other set between this black wire and the center bottom wire. When the coil energizes, these two sets of contacts between here should close and turn the blower on. So I guess the first thing we want to do is we want to see if we have 24 volts going to the coil. If we have a number much less than 24 volts or zero, this would indicate that the thermostat is faulty. So let's check it out and see if we've got 24 volts here. So we're going to place each of the meter leads across each glowing hot spot at the coil and we can see that we are in fact receiving 24 volts at the coil which means the thermostat fan switch is functioning as it's supposed to. It's sending 24 volts to the coil. Now with 24 volts to this coil it should become an electromagnet and close the contacts here. So we should have not only line voltage coming in but we should have what we call load side voltage going out. So let's check this out. We'll move the meter leads to the line side and again you can click on the magnifying glass and it'll bring you right in. So I'm just going to place these meter leads across the top side of the fan relay and as we can see we've got 240 volts coming from the main power. Now we want to see if in fact the 240 volts is available on the load side meaning going to the indoor fan. And if we move down here, we can see we have zero volts. This indicates that at least one set of the contacts is open. 
and since we have power to the coil, the relay is bad. Now, there is a way to determine if in fact it's the coil or the contacts, and that would be to simply turn off the power, isolate the coil, and do a resistance check across it. But since this component is a throwaway component, it's not repairable, at this point we can just simply replace the relay. So we're going to store the meter back in the toolbox, we're going to click on the indoor fan relay and we're going to replace it. It's $130, we're going to proceed, and as we can see that corrects the problem. Now, our next step is to clean the work area and just make sure all caps and covers are in place. So we're going to put the door back on the unit. I always like to take a quick look outside to make sure I've covered everything out there. And then we'll go back inside. And last but not least, you're going to want to turn the power back on. And you're going to want to locate the broom so that you can clean up the work area and get that all-important fifth star. Good luck. Hey, it is Craig with Interplay Learning. We hope you enjoyed this last video. The easiest way to keep up with all of our latest videos is by subscribing to our page right here. Just to let you know, if you're interested to learn how simulations are critical to onboarding and improving you or your employees' performance in the field, please visit us at interplay-learning.com.